Five years back, at one time, the entire range of Honda sedans, the City Civic Accord, were number one in their segment. Even the CRV topped the premium SUV segment. And then things started to change very rapidly. India turned itself into a diesel hungry zombie land. And even though the auto industry grew at a good 30% between 2010 and 2011, Honda lost its market share. Now that could be attributed to Honda not jumping the diesel bandwagon. For as all the manufacturers scrambled to equip their cars with diesel engines or even shopped for them, Honda made no attempt to get a piece of this pie. Today, things stand changed. And with the launch of Honda Amaze, Honda seems to have answered the prayers of a million Honda loyalists. And if you happen to be aspiring to get a Honda for its premium and supreme reliability and fuss free ownership experience, then all that we at PowerDrift have to say to you is, make ready to be amazed. Now Honda has a very high aspirational brand value, but to stun and amaze us even more this time, Honda has provided us with something that was unthought of before. You see, Honda is the best when it comes to making engines, and the engine in this one is one of the primary Earth Dream Series engines. These engines are meant to be highly fuel efficient, and that's no joke in this car, because this one has the highest ever fuel efficiency claim of all the diesel engines in India. It's a 1.5 liter iDTEC engine that has a 25.8 km per liter fuel efficiency claim. But that's not it. The knockout punch is delivered by this car by also being the most powerful diesel engine in its segment with over 100 horses and 200 Newton meters of torque. It's a sub 4 meter car but packages way more space and comfort on the inside when compared to its competitors. And just when you're about to think that that would make the boot space a mighty tiny one, well, just remind yourself of what this car is called. It's going to amaze you again. The top of the line car in this diesel version comes with dual front airbags, EBD, alloy wheels, driver seat height adjust, electrically adjustable side view mirrors which are also electrically foldable and a humongous 400 liters of boot space. Now the car looks rather beautiful from the back. In fact, from this angle, it looks the best. To add further to the aesthetics, there's quite a lot of cuts and creases onto the side of the car. 400 liters of boot space and quite spacious interiors. How has Honda then managed to keep the car under sub 4 meter? The answer lies at the front. The front has been extremely shortened. In fact, when you open up the bonnet and check the engine bay, all that you see here is the Earth Dreams Technology 1.5 liter ID Tech engine without any cable salad and without any plumbing running into a maze. On the outside, from the front, the Amaze looks a whole lot like the Brio, with differences, of course, in the grille and in the bumper. From the outside, it's one of the most compact sedans that you will ever come across. But that's not necessarily true once you're inside. On the inside, the space, if not in excess, is quite adequate and class-leading. Where the Honda fails to amaze you is that the diesel engine's not really quiet, nor at idle, nor when revved high. Now, I know Rohan said that the interior of the Amaze is a little noisy. But I disagree. It's just that our expectations from a Honda are so different that if it is just as noisy as the competition, it's too noisy for a Honda. Honda says that this engine is as noisy as the competition because it is an all-aluminium engine. The reason Honda has used aluminium in its complete construction is to save weight. This engine and gearbox together weigh just 150 kilos, which is a significant weight advantage over the competition. 
gearbox is light and positive and it's so good that you'll just keep shifting gears just for the heck of it. And there are nine, nine cup holders in the Amaze. The top end variant also gets a very interesting windshield which repels heat so it aids the AC cooling. Speaking of which, there is no climate control on the top end variant. There's only an AC but it is a really effective AC. India has a fetish with beige interiors and Honda obliges here pretty well. But I'm not sure if the dashboard is going to please one and all. The mix of black, beige and brown robs the dashboard of its elegance. And then as is the case typically with almost all Honda cars, this one too feels a bit under equipped. It has no CD player, no Bluetooth phone pairing, no climate control. But all this is something that you can live with as the Honda Amaze doesn't really have any serious ergonomic issues. The lateral visibility and the frontal visibility is top notch. So much so that you feel yourself at home within just 5 minutes of driving this car. Honda has done a very very intelligent thing with the front seats. They've made them as thin as possible. They've also scooped out the seat backs so that you get more knee room at the rear. Now if you're thinking of buying the Amaze for its rear seat comfort, well, yes, it is a compact sedan, but on the top end variant, you do get decent amounts of new. You do get an armrest with two cup holders that you can pull down. The rear doors have pockets in them. So actually, in a very weird way, the Amaze also makes a very good case for itself as a backseat car. There's really not much that is wrong with the Amaze. I think Honda have got it spot on. The top curve is really flat. Any sports car maker would be proud of the top curve. It peaks at 1750 and stays the same almost till 3500 RPM. And that means really great drivability. The suspension feels a little hard initially. It isn't as hard as a Desire, for example. But push through that softness and throw it around the corner and you'll find that it handles really, really well. So nothing is scary about driving this car on this limit. You will really enjoy driving this car hard. So the Honda Amaze has been and gone. We've driven it for four days and we've all fallen in love with it. But there's just one thing I do not like about the car, and that's the petrol engine. Because for me, Honda has always been a petrol car manufacturer. Well, but Charles, a million Honda loyalists had been waiting for a diesel engine to come out of the Honda factory. And given the way the engine is, it's the most powerful engine in its segment, and it promises to save Mother Earth for our future generations, I believe that this diesel is the new petrol. Well, I can't disagree with that. But the last question that I would have is given the restricted production capacity of Honda, how long would the waiting period be for someone wanting to book the car? Honda has already taken this into consideration. What they've done is that they put the Amaze into production a whole two months before they put it on sale. So I don't think you'll have a very long waiting period for your Amaze. Sounds amazing. In that case, I don't think it would be all too wrong to say that in a nutshell, the car is amazing in every way. It's almost like having your cake and eating it too.